Hi. In today's video, we're going to be talking about our runtime fabric deployment model with MuleSoft. In MuleSoft, we have two different types of runtime fabric. In a previous video, we've talked about our appliance model. And in this model, we're going to actually talk about our self-managed runtime fabric. So sometimes we like to use a lot of acronyms at MuleSoft. And one of them you'll hear with this one is called BYOK, Bring Your Own Kubernetes Runtime Fabric, RTF. So if you ever hear BYOK RTF, that's what we're referring to as our self-managed runtime fabric. So with, the, with, the, uh, with this, we want to talk about our management plane. which is going to be managed by MuleSoft. And the runtime plane, being that it is self-managed, is going to be managed by the customer. All right. So now that we have the level set on what we're actually talking about and where we got our different management planes, Next thing we want to talk about is how it actually gets deployed and where we're actually going to be deploying this. So we'll start off with our customer data center. Now, one thing to note with this is uh, right now, we allow this customer data center to be uh, deployed in three different locations. So, our data centers for this are either going to be AWS, GCP, or Azure. In the future, there, there are plans to expand this uh, to other, other, uh, other uh, hosts, but for right now, these are the three that we allow. With all of that being said, the reason for this is because the customers need to provide their own Kubernetes associated with this. And right now, we only support three different types of Kubernetes. And so with this, we have AWS's EKS. GCP, which is our, their GKE, and Azure's AKS. So those are the different Kubernetes services that are supported. And so that's where that's the tie between the data centers and the Kubernetes that we have. So within, within uh, the Kubernetes cluster, essentially what we're going to be doing is deploying a series of nodes. Now, across all of these nodes are going to be our runtime fabric service. And so this is going to be really what's going to be tying all of them together and allowing us to be able to manage these individual applications that are deployed here. So we've got a runtime fabric service Across all of our all, across all of our nodes in our Kubernetes cluster, and then what we need to next do is, you know, deploy our applications. So we have a series of applications deployed in all these different nodes. So it could be, you know, two or three of these applications deployed on a node. It could be hundreds. It could be one. Um, so this is all going to be all containerized. So each one of these applications will have their own containers. So there will not be resource contention between all these, uh, between the different applications. You can deploy them on your on whatever uh, MuleSoft version is available for you to deploy on. And again, they will not be sharing resources because they are in a containerized model where they are on Kubernetes. So with that being said, we've got each one of these in their own little box. And the next thing we need to talk about is how we're actually going to be managing these uh, individual applications. 
So as we mentioned here, the management plane is still up in uh, MuleSoft's Cloud Hub. So if we come over here, we're going to have our Cloud Hub runtime or uh, management services. So these are our Cloud Hub Management Services. So this is where we're actually still going to be able to manage these applications up in our Runtime Manager, API Manager, uh, Monitoring Services. All these different things are going to be up in our Management Services. And all we simply need to be doing is be able to connect up to our, to our Runtime Fabric Service to be able to manage all the applications that we have there. Now this is all well and good, but we don't have uh, any data sources that these applications are connecting up to. So just real quickly, we'll go in and dive into how we can actually do that. So within our data center, we might have our self-contained um, you know, uh, customer data sources here. And so if they're within the same data center, you know, we're, all we simply need to be able to do is just connect up these applications you know, where, to the ones that you know, need to connect up to and we'll connect those to the data sources. The other piece is we might have a cloud data source. So we'll need to make sure that our applications that are gonna be connecting up to cloud data sources have that level of connectivity. So they need to be able to come outside of, the, of their data center and be able to reach out to, to the cloud data sources as well. So just to quickly recap, we have our self-managed Kubernetes, which is sometimes referred to as B-Way OK. Uh, we've got the management plane hosted by MuleSoft. The runtime plane is completely hosted by the customer. And uh, diving into that a little bit more, the, the runtime plane needs to be on either AWS, GCP, or Azure. And that's because we're requiring uh, Kubernetes. And the ones that are supported right now are EKS, GKE, and AKS. Once we have our uh, Kubernetes deployed and our runtime services across all of our nodes, we can go and deploy our applications, connect them up to our management services, and all the different data sources that they need. So from a high level, that is going to be our self-managed Kubernetes or um, self-managed runtime fabric. Thank you and have a great day.